Hey, so here we are again. Um, it's what Monday morning. So this is what um, Saturday twenty four forty eight seventy two hours after surgery, and um, one of the things that I'm noticing quite a bit at this point, and really since yesterday, is um. Right here on the side, I'm seeming to get like um, a knot where it feels like my muscles tightening up or something. The tendon there is tightening up, and I think that's um, the medial um, retic ret reticulum. And um, I know when we went in for the pre-surgery and all that um, exam. I know we didn't really talk about that as far as um, needing to be repaired. So um, I'm truly hoping that what I'm feeling is repair and not just something that was left undone. Because um, that would suck and have to go under the knife again because they weren't thorough the first time. Um, I called doctors today and I was um, asking for pictures of everything that was taken. So um, that should give me an idea of what happened in there. Um, appointments on the 18th, so that'll give me an idea as well. But Right now, I'm just, you know, still trying to fight through this initial pain or discomfort. Um, I am able to get up and, you know, using the bathroom and all that. And, you know, that's really the untold or the not really focused on part of the whole recovery because you do have to get up. You do have to use the bathroom. And, you know, after the first uh, few days of the surgery, uh, I guess from the medicines they give you, it, it it leaves you a little bit constipated, so you're not really taking bowel movements. But um, I took my first yesterday after surgery, and, you know, that was an ordeal in itself, too, because you're sitting down on a low toilet, and you're trying to keep your legs straight as possible. And you're in these awkward positions, and yeah, it just kind of really gets a little bit um, annoying, so to speak. But um, I'm thinking I'm about to bust open this splint and let my leg breathe a little bit. You know, I'm supposed to be keeping it in this straight position, but like I was telling you before, um, in this area right here on the side of my knee, it really feels like a real bad knot. And the straighter I keep my leg, the more that knot wants to ride and be uncomfortable. So, you know, I've been cheating a little bit. Um, and I don't think it's that bad, but, um, trying to put a little bit of flex in my knee because the, the less atrophy that I have, the better when it's all said and done and this brace gets cracked for me and I'm um, sitting up here for two weeks and just let my leg be completely locked up. isn't really good. So. You know, the main thing is just knowing yourself, knowing your body, not, you know, overdoing it too much. But at the same time, you know, I'm putting, you know, pillows up underneath my knee. So it kind of forces my knee to have a little bit of a, a bend in it. So it's not, you know, just straight like it is right now. But I'll take this pillow here and I'll put up underneath there. And that'll give it a little bit of a flex and a little bit of a relief to re kind of relax that muscle. And, um, you know, you kind of have to judge it for yourself as well. 
All right, I'm gonna um switch this camera around and um kind of crack this open and kind of massage my leg a little bit. So um not really doing much therapy though, except you know just trying to move my foot, you know, and exercise my calf muscles. And um you know when I get up and walk around, I try to put as much bearable weight on my leg as I possibly can. And, um, you know, each little action um, allows for a little bit of more strength. So, um, yeah, let me switch videos or camera angles here and we'll talk some more.